Alana has more questions that she'll ask, but go ahead and read that problem to me again, and I'll write it on the screen, and you tell me if I mess up. <laughs> All right. So it's two-fifths plus one-half on the yeah, numerator, and then one-tenth plus two-tenths on the denominator. Yeah. Did I hear two-tenths? Yeah. OK. So where do you think you should start? Is from the previous problems, I would say like something to do with multiplying by the reciprocal, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, okay. So there, that is a, a general step in this process. So if I'll I'll write down sort of the fraction division process down here below. The problem is we've got lots of fractions here, right? Sort of a flow chart. We want to get to one fraction at the end. Okay. Now, along the way, there's lots of things that we can do. Number one, we could um, literally add subtract fractions together. Okay, so we see that in this problem up on top, there's fractions that are all together in the numerator. And we see down here, there's fractions all together in the denominator. We can eliminate some of these fractions by just adding them together. So uh, actually in this problem, that's gonna be your first step, but let me keep going here on different things you can do. Um, you can do that reciprocal multiplication. Um, so that would be in a problem like, like this. Let's just, um, let's do one step, like I said here for the problem above, and you'll see how that comes into play. Um, so the bottom is, is pretty easy, I think. One tenth plus two tenths. Can you do that one for me? Yeah, that's three tenths. Perfect. Have you done the top two fifths plus one half? Uh, no, not yet, but I could do that. Uh, Go ahead. So, <clears throat> that'd be, you want it as a mixed or you want it like? Let's keep it as a, an improper fraction. So keep it okay. how, however it is. Don't uh, write as a mixed number. Okay, then that'd be written as nine over ten. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, so uh, so we've we've performed step number one. It doesn't have to be step number one. It can be step number three, you know, whatever. But we've, we've done this to try and eliminate some fractions. And we've gotten to this point now where we've got one fraction over one fraction. So just there's a single fraction up here and a single fraction down here. When you reach this step, this number two is pretty much always the, the next thing you can do. Um, it, it does not work when it's in this previous form. Okay, and that, the, the reason is, is which reciprocal are we multiplying by? You know, are, are we gonna multiply by 10 over two? Or are we gonna multiply by 10 over one? Right, there's, there's, there's some uncertainty there and uh, when you change the problem to where we're at currently here, there's no uncertainty. We know exactly which reciprocal to use. It's 10 thirds. Okay. So this is kind of a, this is kind of a key step, getting your fractions to look like this one fraction divided by one fraction, and then do this, step two. 
would you always use the reciprocal of the denominator yes. in these situations? Okay. Yes, yes. Because that's what you want to get rid of. You want to get rid of the denominator. Um, you can get rid of the numerator, I guess. Uh, I can I can show you briefly what that would look like. And you'll you'll just see what happens. And you'll you'll wish I hadn't shown you. <laughs> so nine tenths times ten ninths is one, right? We still keep the fraction sign, the division sign, and now we've got three tenths times ten ninths. The tens cancel. The three cancels with the nine to give us one third. So we still have a fraction of fractions. <laughs> so that's not terrible, right? But we still have to do more work. Yeah. So that's, you know, you, you can get rid of the numerators fraction if you want, but um, You're, you're making more work for yourself. You'll see here that it just works out if you use the denominator. Oh, uh, because that makes it, okay, over one. Yeah, it, exactly. It switches that, that order. Instead of getting one divided by a fraction, you're going to get a fraction divided by one. Okay. So what is this? This is the tens cancel the nine cancels with the three, and then these cancel all together. So over one, we've got three, which is just three. 